Welcome to my lecture online for our third example of how to use free body diagrams to solve an F equals MA type of problem. Well, we picked something a little bit more complicated. Here we have three masses. We have one hanging on one side, another one hanging on the other side, and the third one on the table. Now, if we use the non or without free body diagram method, you can see here that again we use the principle that all internal forces are ignored. Now in this case we have two tensions, tension 1 and tension 2, they are not equal to each other because they're two different strings. But, um, but what we can do here is ignore T1 and T2 because they're internal to the system. The only forces we have to worry about is these four, but these two cancel each other out. The force of gravity acting downward is cancelled out by the normal force of the table pushing back. So the only forces left right here are these two forces, and then you have to determine which is the aiding force and which is the opposing force. The aiding force is the one in the same direction as acceleration, which is M3G. The opposing force is the one in the opposite direction from the acceleration. Notice the whole system accelerates in a clockwise direction. And so the net force equals the total mass times acceleration becomes acceleration equals the difference between the aiding force minus the opposing force divided by the total mass of the system. The aiding force is M3G, the opposing force is M1G, total mass M1 plus M2 plus M3, sum for A, you get this equation. It's very quick and simple. But now how do you do this problem using the free body diagrams? Well, we have three of them because we have three masses, and in each case we look at each a free body, dang, a free body diagram or, or mass separately, so we'll end up with three equations, F net equals M1A, F net equals M2A, F net equals M3A. So in each case we have to determine the net force acting on that free body diagram object. So notice that there's two forces here, T1 acting upward, M1G acting downward, and we know that this M1 will accelerate in an upward direction. So T1 becomes the aiding force, M1G becomes the opposing force. So we have the aiding force minus the opposing force equals the mass times acceleration. We can solve this for T1. The next equation, we end up with, again, F net equals M2A. These two forces cancel out, so only these two forces matter. The acceleration will be to the right for this block. So this is the aiding force, this is the opposing force, and notice how T1 acts in an opposite direction. Again, it depends on what object it's relative to. Relative to M2, T1 pulls to the left. Relative to M1, T1 pulls upward. So here we have the aiding force minus the opposing force, T2 minus T1 equals the mass M2 times acceleration. And so here we have T2 equals T1 plus M2A. On the third equation, again, we have two forces one that is in the same direction as acceleration, this is the aiding force, this must therefore be the opposing force, it's in the opposite direction, so aiding minus opposing equals M3A. So here we have these three equations, what do we do with them? Well the first thing we can do is solve this equation for one of the two unknowns. We did T2 equals T1 plus M2A, and then we substitute that into this equation to eliminate T2, and now we have an equation here that only has T1 in it, and then looking over here we have another equation that only has T1 in it. So now we have these two equations, both of them with T1, so we can solve them simultaneously. We can set them, we can set them equal to each other, T1 equals this, T1 equals this, set those equal to each other, solve that for A algebraically, and you get the exact same answer. You can see there's a lot more algebra involved, a lot more work to get that same answer using the free body diagrams, but again, it's a safe fail method, and you can see that you end up with the exact same correct answer. It's easy to see that this is much quicker, much easier, much less likely to make a mistake, but sometimes they require you to use free body diagrams, and then this is how it's done.